Hey, what's up, VC? I'm back with another video. This is a kind of cool edition of the mail. Um, it's actually a huge lot of CDs I bought from a guy on eBay. Um, got them for a good deal. There's 32 CDs total. I think I paid $36 for all of them, so a little over a dollar a piece. And most of them were keepers. Uh, there's a couple of them that I'm not sure about yet but I'm still deciding. Uh, so I'll show those first. Uh, what it was is this guy that, you know, worked on a radio station back in the 90s, I guess, because this is mostly, you know, 90s metal type stuff. Uh, there's some 80s stuff, but you'll see what I'm talking about. But all of them have like the, or most of them have like these labels and stuff and, you know, different songs that were radio hits or whatever. Uh, so here's my stack of ones I'm not sure about. A couple of these I know for sure I'm not keeping, so if anybody out there is interested in them, just let me know. Um, Merciful Fate 9. Uh, Merciful Fate and King Diamond. Uh, this is the album Voodoo. And then King Diamond, uh, House of God. I just, I've always been a little wary of listening to this stuff just because it, it looks pretty bad. I mean, pretty evil, uh, if you ask me. And I know King Diamond's like totally satanic or whatever you know i might i've listened to some 80s merciful fate and it wasn't bad and some king diamond and it wasn't bad but i don't know about this newer stuff so i'm still gonna check it out but for the most part i think i'm gonna get rid of these three uh, and then there's a couple i'm not sure about like this one in flames the tokyo showdown live in japan 2000 it's a band i've never heard of but that album cover looks kind of bad as well uh, and then there's a band called labyrinth uh timeless crime and the album Return to Heaven Denied. Uh, and this one actually kind of looks interesting, but I just haven't listened to it. So if anybody out there knows what this is, or knows what type of, you know, metal they are, let me know. Um, and then the Galactic Cowboys, this is another one that I'm not sure about. I've never heard of them. It looks kind of interesting. Uh, looks like they're a Houston band. Uh, this was made in Houston, Texas. So I don't know. So I'll check that out. But now on to the stuff I am keeping. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. We got the best of Judas Priest living after midnight. Of course, I'm going to keep this. It's great. It's got some live stuff, a bunch of studio stuff, just a great comp. Uh, Ace Frehley, uh, Loaded Deck. What this is is mostly live stuff um, and then some unreleased studio tracks and some live tracks like Rock Soldiers and stuff like that. That's the only song really I know by him, but it's a live version on here, which is pretty cool. Then we have a CD single of Rat, uh, Hold Tight, and Steel River uh, from the album Collage, which I actually have right here, the full-length album. Uh, so I know this is just a comp, but I've never really listened to a whole lot of Rat other than, you know, their first couple albums, uh, Out of the Cellar and um, Invasion of Your Privacy. So definitely going to check this out. And then we have Doc and One Live Night. This is a great, great live album. It's all acoustic, so if you're not a fan of acoustic stuff, uh, you might not like it, but it just, the songs that they play are great acoustically. Uh, the version of Alone Again on here is probably my favorite live version of that song ever. It's just, it fits so well acoustically. Uh, and I actually saw Don Dokken back last November live doing a solo acoustic show, and it just, his voice just fits that so well. Um, and he's a great guitar player, too. I was imp really impressed because he could play the hell out of the songs that he played. But anyway, yeah, I got that. Um, and what else do I got in here? Got Black Label Society, uh, The Blessed Hell Ride. Never listened to any of this stuff. I've really been getting into recently the Ozzy stuff with Zach Wilde. I just, I always put it off because, you know, I was always into Randy Rhodes and Jakey e. Lee. But I started listening to later stuff like No More Tears and No Rest for the Wicked and, um, the other albums he was on down to earth and it's just that stuff is absolutely killer like he's a fantastic guitar player so i've been listening to more of his stuff uh, so definitely gonna check this out never listened to black label society before so this will definitely be like a blind listen but i'm sure it's some great stuff uh, and then we have iomi tony iomi's first uh so solo album i guess unless you count the black sabbath seven star album is it a solo album like some people did but um this is a great album, just got different singers and different, you know, players on each song. Uh, I know you have Ozzy on one of the songs, then Billy Idol, that song, uh, Into the Night with Billy Idol, actually really impressed me. Because, you know, I've always liked Billy Idol's voice, but, you know, some of his music was kind of like pop rock, pop metal, whatever you want to call it. But 
it really works on this album. His voice just with Tony Iommi is absolutely fantastic. And Tony Iommi is another guitarist that I've been getting into really recently. You know, I always I always love the stuff he did with Black Sabbath and, you know, his other stuff that he did. Uh, but I never really appreciated his guitar work. But now that I've been listening to it more, he is a fantastic guitarist all the way around. So this was really cool to get. Um, and then we have Twisted Sister, Club Days, the studio sessions. I know Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules has showed this in the past because this uh, cover looks familiar. What this is is some um, studio recordings from early Twisted Sister, so this will definitely be cool to check out. They're one of those bands you know I've never been too huge about, but listening to early stuff from bands like this is always cool. So that one was cool to get. Um, and this is an album I had never heard before. It's Judas Priest, Jugulator. Uh, this is the album with Ripper Owens on vocals, and this is fantastic. I mean, it's just as good as any of the stuff with Rob. Uh, I know the live stuff they did, the live concerts they did with him, I've seen them, and most of them, and he's just a fantastic singer. I'd love to see Priest with him again. Like, that would have been a hell of a show to see. Um, save that until later. Uh, what else we got? We got Gilby Clark, 99 Live. It's another one I wasn't really sure about, but I saw it had uh, Tracy Guns on guitar and Eric Singer on drums. Uh, so definitely going to check that out and see what it's all about. Most of these cases were broken, so that's why I'm struggling over here. Um, we have D. Snyder, Never Let the Bastards Wear You Down. This is one of his solo albums, I guess. Once again, never been a really big fan of Twisted Sister, but I love his voice. He's a great singer, and I know this has... Uh, some different people on it, so definitely gonna check that out. Then we have Bruce Dickinson, Scream For Me Brazil. This is a live album uh, where he does, oh, I thought he did some uh, Maiden stuff, but I guess it's just his solo stuff that he did here. Definitely gonna check that out. I've never heard any of his solo stuff, uh, but I got a couple of his albums in here, The Best of Bruce Dickinson, just a comp uh, with a bunch of cool stuff on it. And then what else do we have by him? Uh, I have the album, The Chemical Wedding. And Accident of Birth. Just all this stuff is new to me. I knew about his solo albums, but I've just never taken the time to listen to them. So that was cool to get. And then here's something that I'm, it's going to be interesting to listen to. Anthrax, High Octane. Uh, it's just a single type deal with three songs from the album Stomp 442. I've never really listened to Anthrax. You know, I've heard a couple of their songs. They're, um, the rap thing they did, the whatever you want to call it, rap metal. Uh, I really like that. I can't think of the name of it. I'm drawing a blank right now, but you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Um, but I, you know, what I've listened to by them, I've liked, so definitely going to check this out. And if not, I'll just pass it along to somebody else if I don't like it. Um, and then I also have a copy of Doc and Shadow Life, my least favorite Doc and album. It's still a good album. I know everybody hates it because it has like the grunge type sound to it. Uh, they went more grunge on this album, but it's still a good album for what it is. It doesn't sound like Dokken hardly at all, uh, but like the song uh, Bitter Regrets pretty good. Um, Puppet on a String. Just it, It's a good album for what it is. I wouldn't recommend it to somebody just getting into Dokken or metal, but it is a decent album. And I know some people out there will agree with me. Like probably Rob from Black Star Vinyl. He, I'm sure he enjoys this album even though it doesn't sound like classic Dokken. Um, then I have Halloween, Better Than Raw. This is another one I'm kind of just going in blind. Never heard any of their music. I've list I've heard of them, but never listened to them. So that'll be interesting to check out. Then I have a copy of Doc and Erase the Slate. I should have organized these better. Sorry, they're just all out of order. Had a copy of this already, but my copy didn't have this back insert. So this is an upgrade. This is a great album with Red Beach from Winger and White Snake on guitar. Just a killer album all the way. Uh, Maddest Hatter is a great song. Haunted Lullaby, In Your Honor. Just killer. And we have Queensryche, Here in the Now Frontier, an album I've never heard by them, so definitely going to be checking that out. Seen it before, but I have never heard it. And then we have a couple by this band. It is Wasp. And we got the album KFD. I have no clue what that stands for. But Wasp is another band I've put off for so long, I don't know why, I just never really listened to them, and I'm I'm so glad I did check them out, because I absolutely love 
Blackie Lawless's voice. Like he's just got so much power in his voice. Um, I was actually turned on to uh, Wasp by one of um, Rob Blackstar Vinyl's videos where he was playing the album Golgotha in the background, and I heard the song "Miss You." I was like, "What the hell is that? That's a great song." I went and Googled it and found the song and listened to it and was absolutely blown away. Like, I'm looking for that album on vinyl because I'd love to own it. Uh, and then we have Inside the Electric Circus. It's another Wasp album that I'm really digging. Then the one that I really got into is The Last Command. This is, of course, the album that has Blind and Texas on it. That's the song I had heard before, uh, but other than that, not much. And this has Mississippi Queen on it, a cover of the Mountain Song. And you know, I'm a huge Leslie West fan, so that's really cool. They do good on that. Then we have Glenn Tipton, Baptism of Fire. This, uh, of course, Glenn Tipton from Judas Priest. Uh, one of his solo albums, or his maybe his only solo album, I don't know. But this is a great album. He sings on it. I didn't know he was such a good singer. Uh, and I believe it has Cozy Powell on some of the drums. Uh, let me just go look real quick. Yeah, it's got Robert Trujillo. Uh, from Metallica on bass on some of the songs, uh, Cozy Powell on drums, Billy Sheehan, who played with um, David Lee Roth on the Eat em and Smile album, I believe. Um, who else you got? You got Don Airy on one of the songs. It's just a great album, so definitely check that out. And last but not least, we have Lynch Mob Smoke This. Lynch Mob album I've kind of been avoiding for a while because I heard mixed reviews of it because it's more of like a rap type album, I would say. I don't know. I don't really enjoy it that much. I mean, I love George Lynch, everything he's ever done. I just, his guitar playing has always blown me away. And don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad album. It's just not, if you're going into this thinking it's going to be like Wicked Sensation or the other Lynch Mob albums, it's not. So, definitely takes a little while to get used to, and I'm, I'm going to give it a couple more chances. But yeah, so that was my haul, I guess you could call it, my edition of the mail. Uh, so yeah, talk to you guys again very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. Peace out.